George with the ball. Tied guarded by Ingram. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. Tale of two teams tonight. Pass to Kispert. This one for three. Road victory. Stark and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. Yes, yeah, surprise to split the season series last year. Felt to take control of this one for talent. You any confidence. One challenge for Kristaps Porzingis has been his health because over the course of his young career, he's missed about a quarter of the schedule to injury. Here's Batum. Here's George. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Size and strength. Paul George has both, and you love his willingness to play through contact. Pass to Zubats. Oh, sweet move. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. And Doris, throughout the league's history, a lot of players well over seven feet tall have dealt with leggings. Drafted for Zingas. If you recall, the front office questioned how he hold up hold ground and protect himself a little bit. There's a screen. Pass to Zubats. That three's off the mark. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Here's Neto. And the three off target. George, right side. The shot won't fall. And Washington the other way now. Let's the three fly. Here's Kuzma. Here's Porzingis. Porzingis. And he banks in the layup. Boy, what a display of toughness from Chris Stapp's Porzingis. He's a rock down low. Pass to Batum. And the Clippers miss again. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Contiguous. Nails it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now here's George. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Here's Kispert. Batum pulls it in. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Back to George. And we creep towards the MVP being named. Doris, what was the closest MVP race you can remember? Well, I mean, for me, in recent history, 2017, when James Harden and Russell Westbrook were battling it out, and it was Russell Westbrook averaging a triple-double that really pushed him through to the other side. Kristaps Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. In a pick-and-roll game, the length and athleticism of Kristaps Porzingis is going to be a big-time problem. And he knocks it down. He's 3 of 5 now from the floor. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Clippers ball. Substitution for your Clippers. Isaiah Hartenstein, Robert Covington. For three, Powell. It's intercepted. Now the Wizards in transition. Here's Kispert. Pass to Porzingis. Powell for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. This guy is always shot ready. Norman Powell's instincts as a scorer are exceptional. There's the screen by Kuzma. Porzingis with it. Guarded by Covington. And there's a whistle. That goes on Robert Covington. That's his first foul of the game. Coming onto the floor for your players. To the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! The more Porzingis proves himself a threat as a passer, the more dangerous he can become as a scorer. Washington trailing. 
54 seconds left to play in the first. Neto's shot is good. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Outside Covington. There's the three. He can't get it to drop. And Washington the other way now. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Pass to Hartenstein to end the run. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. And so action here. Offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. To the middle. Here's Kuzma. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. First team foul. That's foul number two for him. Just four seconds left in the first quarter. Kristaps Porzingis, Porzingis getting it done for the Wizards. Score. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And all guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also, and a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. Now here's George. Seven points in the game. Pass to Zubox. Off target with the three. The Wizards with a lead. What I love about Denny Optia is Brian. that there has never been a question about his confidence from day one. He came into the NBA with swagger. He knows he had a place in this league. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, just about every discussion of the NBA trade market comes back to the Washington Wizards. An all-star shooting guard Bradley Beal on a team that hasn't made the playoffs in three seasons, something's got to give. And guys with Beal possessing an opt-out after the season, expect those talks to intensify. Yeah, that's a good point. Thomas Bryant. Well, when it comes to Obdia's mindset after he was drafted, that kind of attitude is crucial for a young player, right? It is, because someone who's not come up through the collegiate system, he's not a known factor entering the league. Obdia didn't have an outsider's mentality, though. He was on a mission to prove he belonged, and boy, it didn't take long. Now here's Smith. He had nine. The Clippers trail. Jackson outside. Pass to Zubac. Back to Batum. From outside the arc. That one doesn't drop. And Washington the other way now. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Now here's Smith. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Line for the Wizards. Thomas. When you think about Thomas Bryant, the thing you think about is efficiency. He makes the most of his chances, and he doesn't force the issue. And the bucket is good. And Washington has possession. Sadaransky right side. Bryant. Thomas Bryant. Basket's good on the assist from Sadaransky. Bryant's got eight points. And thinking about Bryant's offense, he doesn't get the reputation as efficient because all his finishes are right at the rim. That's exactly right. You're correct. Not just a close-range scorer, though. He's now got a solid outside game. He's smart enough to recognize a good shot and pass up on any bad ones. That's the key to his effectiveness. Thomas Bryant. And that one's good. Bryant. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. They set the screen. Kicks it out to Kennard. Lots of room. No good that time. And Washington the Two other way now. In the first half. Two minutes. On the wing, Bryant. He's got 10. Sinks that one from the poke quarter. Up. We've got a minute 48 left in the second period. 
Pass to Hartenstein. And here's Covington. Hachimura covering. His man nails it from beyond the arc. Man's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Down low. And that one's good. Ryan. And the Wizards lead by 10. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. The three, Covington. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Inside. Here's Hachimura. Assisted by. Uh, Hachimura can make play after play above the rim. This guy's got a natural, gifted, athletic frame. It's Powell on the wing. Kicks it out to Kennard. Stolen by Bryant. Sadoransky goes in. Pass to Avdia. Back to Sadoransky. Fires from deep. Covington grabs the board. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. For the finish. Rips down the breakaway slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Misses off the left iron. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. And sense of confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack, and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. Drills it from deep. Batum's got six points. Defensive mix-up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. And here's Sadoransky. Hachimura from long range. It's rebounded by Zubats. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Jackson on the wing. To the inside. To the left side wing. Six to shoot. George with it. Hachimura covering. Soft touch off the glass. Well, that's about tremendous vision. And remember, Paul George has the kind of size that allows him to survey the floor beautifully. Now here's Smith. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. First free throw is good. It's a line for LA. And so Jackson nails both of them. The Wizards with a lead. On the wing, Kuzma. The three. He can't get it to go. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. George outside. This one for three. Rebound by the Wizards. They've led by as many as 11. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. Hits a three-pointer. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire any time you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. Now, into the line. Washington on D. They've got a nine-point lead. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Five points in the game. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Uh, just fundamental basketball for Chris Stapps and Porzingis. Establish yourself inside and finish with the jam. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to Kispert. The three is up. And no good. 
And Los Angeles the other way now. Jackson outside. And a fast break now for the Wizards. Here's Neto. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Porzingis. That'll be three seconds. And it's going to be a three-second call. Ball. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Two On the wingman. In the third quarter. Two minutes. Here's Coffee. On the take. An easy two on the layup. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Oh, got that one up quick. Three points. Neto's got his second basket of the night. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Here's man. The crossover. Foul quarter. Seven foot. And the Wizards with possession here. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No good on the triple. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. To the middle. Here's Covington. And the jam by Covington. Wow, pretty pass from Powell. This guy has great instincts as a scorer and that time sets up his teammate. Here's Caldwell Pope. Continues Caldwell Pope. And the three-pointer goes. Caldwell Pope got eight points. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Forty-one seconds left in the third quarter. Five to shoot. To the paint. Power down after the assist led him to the lane. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Washington. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Luke Back to Neto. Pass to Kuzma. Fires the three. And again, Washington, no good. Outside Covington. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. LA foul. And the foul Paul called George. on Paul George. That's his second That'll be a second foul. foul of the game. First team foul. Porzingis for three. Hit. It's the trifecta. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's George. And Boy, it's hard not to look at what many consider to be that devastating leg injury he suffered. There were people who doubted whether he could come back. And now, stronger than ever. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. From deep three-point range. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. From the top of the key. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And with Paul George in that injury. As it happened, we weren't sure he'd ever play again. That's exactly right. It's a setback and the mental toll that's part of that and still enjoying an incredible NBA career. George's shot is off. Pass to Neto. Down low. Here's Porzingis. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. Well, we know that when Kristaps Porzingis is in rhythm, he can string together a stretch of play where he is sustaining an offense. There's the drive. Kuzma outside. There's the steal. In transition, here come the Clippers. Pass to Batum.
towards right side. Shot clock at six. From deep. That doesn't go either for George. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy.